Have you ever wondered what John Eldridge's story is with his father? John shares that story coming up. We recently released the full-length, unedited, and unplugged interview I did with John Eldridge. It's real, powerful, and raw, and it's a video every man and dad needs to watch. Here's a brief clip from that interview where John shares his own story about his dad, how he was wounded by him, and how it shaped his view of God. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. So I'm the only son in my family. I have two older sisters. So when I was young, I was kind of the apple of my dad's eye. My dad loved to fish. My sisters didn't want to go fishing. So I loved it. I got dad. I got dad on weekends. I got to play with dad. And, and then my dad got taken out through a series of just job losses. I, I think some real disappointments in his own life, not dealing with his own woundedness. He fell to drinking, and as happens with some men, I mean, it just grabbed him like a riptide and took him out to sea, and he was gone. So deep abandonment wounds, right at the time in the boy's life when you're shifting from the boyhood years into the teenage years, and you need to know that you've got what it takes, right? I mean, I, my dad was gone, checked out, absent. So he was gone. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, my dad was gone. Now, um, late in my teenage years, I developed a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And it was the single most wonderful, phenomenal event, life-changing event in, in, in my story. I mean, it's a total turnaround for me. And I began my faith journey with God. I began to notice though in my 20s that um, I could relate to Jesus. I wasn't really big on this God as Father thing. And I would hear guys talk about, oh, my father God, or you know, they'd even pray things like, Abba, Father. And I'm like, no thanks. Like, that's kind of weird. You know, not really interested in this father thing. And well, guess what, right? The, you know, my experience of a father who left and, and left me alone to figure life out translated directly into my experience of God as Father thinking, ah, he's distant, he's not available, he's probably gonna check out him. I'm still pretty much on my own to figure life out, even though there's God, right? I'm still, it's still pretty much up to me. And you'll find that in many men of faith. They may have a deep and genuine faith in God. They may study their scriptures and attend church regularly, but they're still living with this profound conviction inside that life is up to me, right? That you know, my career, it's up to me. Figuring these kids out, this marriage, you know, it's up to me, right? Making enough to get the bills paid, it's all up to me. Even men of deep faith still have that disconnect that they're not the beloved son. They don't have a father who delights in them, right? That loves all over them, that believes in them. And so your experience with your father growing up profoundly influences your kind of unspoken almost subconscious assumptions about what God as Father is like.